Thank you to everybody. Um, this day was uh, programmed 11 months ago when you were just arrived at Saatchi and you met the President Stephen Britton, who welcomed you, and then me, the future major professor, Roberta Lapucci, Alice Parri, Helen Watterson, with whom you worked together for the entire year, and Patrizia Bonucci, your Italian professor, with, uh, oh, sorry, with whom you learn or perfected your Italian. Together with the professor, you work with many figures of such staff, the librarians, Roberta, Rapucci, eh, Roberta Mazzotti and Donatella Cerretelli, Elizabeth Johnson, Daniela Barbato, Chiara Tolleri, Spella Gitor, uh, with whom you work at such galleries, Lou Lodge and Pellegrini, who organize, among the many things, this event. And in spring, when he arrived, you met uh, our new dean, Leo Rowland. A few weeks ago, you met Fabrizio Ricciardelli, who wanted to know directly from you the content of your thesis. Those are just few names of the people involved to turn out this academic year into a very successful one. Many thanks to everyone. But especially, I have to thank you for the excellent way how you worked to many projects and the great methodological approach you used to carry out your own your own thesis. Thesis that all of you had brilliantly presented two days ago to the external readers, Susan Grandi, Simone Giordani, and Lucia Giardino. Each of them underlined that all of your thesis deserve to be turned into a scientific publication. So I can tell you that me, the people here this evening, and all the people at Saatchi, are, we are all proud of you. I have to thank you also because this year, with you, I fully, really fully experience that teaching is the art of learning. And I really hope that you have learned from me at least the half I learned from you. If in fall you were, at my eyes, just very good students, in spring I look at you as potential excellent scholars. And yesterday, during our last visit to the Galleria uh, d'Arte Moderna. I talked to you about the gallery criteria of display and about uh, the Macchiaioli, and I consider, I consider you not anymore my students, but young art historians with a long career ahead. For me, teaching has, been, has never been so easy and so challenging as this year. Easy because you have always followed any suggestions, any indication, and you've always respected the deadline. Challenging because I had to confront myself with your young, brilliant minds, and you forced me to reconsider and deconstruct my own cultural patrimony. So thank you again. You are young historians with all the potential qualities to become excellent scholars. During this year, you demonstrated to possess the curiosity to always question the art literature and the previous historical analysis, to possess the rigorous method to construct your personal point of view. And on the other hand, both your method and point of view has been constantly shaped by the result of your research. With your research, you have been able to recreate and comprehend the cultural environment that gave, birth, that gave birth to the artworks you study. You have been able sorry, you have been able to bring back to life the artworks of the past. With a very mature approach, you have never permitted to transform the method you have chosen to carry out your research in an ideology that blinded your vision. On the contrary, you have perfectly understood that the method is only a tool to better comprehend the history and its histories. A method to question the history of art and the art to always question back the method adopted. A common denominator for all of your thesis was that you took advantage, advantage of your staying in Florence, the territory of your research that helps you to better understand the work of art you studied. Kathleen, you may seem that everything is easy 
even to study in ancient Florence archives, to read the inventories and its related documents of the Medician collection, a difficult task even for Italian scholars. With systematic method, you transcribed all the records with reference to Indian items. Many, too many, a lot of. And uh, with uh, what I did, and uh, where the term Indians, Indians could stand for American as well as in India. So it was really an ocean of information. And you perfectly succeeded to recognize from the shallow inventorial description the precise object comparing the Medician inventories to the illustration you found in the Coive catalog and books of the 16th and 17th century. Your thesis is a mine of, dis a mine of discoveries, and you have been able to bring back to life lost or forgotten object that played an important role in the culture of the 17th and early 18th century. Your thesis is a great contribution to better understand the interest for Central and South American culture in the 17th century. And this is another common point in all your theses because you've never lost the priority to try to comprehend as much as possible the culture high and low that revolved around the artworks you studied. Elizabeth, here in Florence, uh, you found the topic of your research, the depiction of the Last Supper in the refectories of Florentine convents and monasteries. You visit personally the places to better understand the relation between the image and its original space. In your thesis, you have been able to recreate the culture and daily life that revolves around the images, your curiosity for the detail, for the composition, and especially your truly love for the representation and your interest to try to understand the possible reason that gave birth to a precise figure led you to direct your research beyond the common thought. Every detail has been carefully studied and you underline how an object or a fruit or the embroidery over the dinner uh, tablecloth can be charged by gera genera uh, generic, sorry, symbolic meaning or precise reference to the conventional life of nuns and friars to their diet or spiritual practices. An incredible work that based on a previous literature took its own direction, reveals the power of such images without giving for granted that has been what has been previously said by other scholars. And such a sentence leads me to talk about Leah and her research on Artemisia Gentileschi. Leah, you arrived here with a very precise idea, to study the possible use of camera oscura in Artemisia's painting. A very difficult topic, since the use of such an optic tool in painting is not documented until late 17th century for the Vedutisti. Following the teaching of Roberto Longhi, for whom the first privileged document of the art historians is the artwork itself, you observed carefully and with the talented eye and trained eye, several paintings of Artemisia to identify in the composition and in the pictorial ductus possible optic distortions. In the meanwhile, you reconstruct the intellectual environment in which Artemisia lived prior in her early, li uh, in her early life in Rome, but especially when she moved to Florence and entered in contact with the high scientific educated Medician court. The result of your thesis is a new vision of Artemisia as an artist high estimated for her talent and intelligence, an artist who was able to refine her education while in Florence. While your thesis, with your thesis, you have been able to set free the great Artemisia from the chain of her trial, 
that for centuries overcast a shadow that prevent to fully understand her work and importance. I could say so many other things about uh, this long year together and all the, the great things we did uh, uh, together. And we laughed, uh, we, we, we discussed seriously about your research. Uh, but I just want to conclude to leave the speech to uh, the keynote speaker, Fabrizio Ricciardelli, that I'm not simply proud of you, but I sincerely admire your talent, and I'm sure that whatever you decided to do in your future life, you will have success. <laughs>